has count them up. Six Asian medals coming in to today. Looking for another gold medal. He won the championship back in 2017. He is a battle-tested veteran. He has seen every type of match throughout his time. So many years of competing at a high level for, for a year as Hepal. And we are underway. Kazakhstan comes out. They will be in the blue. Kyrgyzstan comes out, represented by the red with Makhmadov. For Makhmadov, this is his second appearance at the Asian Championships. His last appearance was four years ago. He won gold at the 2018 edition of these Asians. It was his continental debut, and he did it in his home country and that was at 72 kilos so over time he's gotten a little bit bigger a little bit stronger now trying to win his second Asian championship at as many different weights 72 four years ago now now it's 77 had a really good year last year and keep in mind he's, he's just still very young and coming into his prime he was a Tokyo Olympian for Kyrgyzstan he won the Asian Olympic qualifying tournament. It's a story of perseverance as well. Well, you know, he had the early success at the Asian Championships at a very young age, but then it, it kind of hit a, a brick wall the following year in 2019. He underwent surgery on his left knee. He actually injured the knee while playing football, so it was not even a wrestling related in injury. And he still has that protective sleeve on his left leg. But he underwent a serious procedure in 2019. It cost him all of 19, pretty much all of 20, but he was able to get healthy. And, and that's one of the rare situations where the COVID pandemic helped out a wrestler because it gave him more time to rehab. Had they stuck to the original calendar and the Olympic Games would have been held in 2020 instead of 21, good chance Makhmadov might not have been able to, to get healed up in time and, and recover from, from his therapy, but with the COVID pandemic delaying everything, it just gave him another opportunity. And he certainly made the most of it at the Asian Games qualifying. Underneath here, part tear defense. Here is Hepov trying to get a grip. He was up briefly, but now planted right back, back down to the mat. No points awarded. We go back to the feet two minutes into this opening period. <laughs> On paper, when you look at the possible matchups, as I broke down the brackets over the weekend and when they were unveiled, officially yesterday this is one that i think a lot of fans were looking forward to just because of so much success in both corners you have multiple asian medals both gold medal winners at these continental championships of course you have the young wrestler from kyrgyzstan who was an olympic qualifier and then you have the battle tested year as hepov 31 years old, he'll turn 32, I believe, in three days. So much success at the Continentals, including the gold in 2017. So something had to give. Would it be the youth of Kyrgyzstan, or would it be the, the experience and the veteran presence that Kazakhstan has at this weight? Short time wrestling, first period ends in a one nothing lead for Kyrgyzstan. Throughout the course of the next couple of days as we wrap up Greco Roman Wrestling, we'll be sure to keep you up to date with the team race. And it's gonna be tight. I mean, early contenders right now. Japan, Kazakhstan, India. We've seen Iran pick up a couple of medals as well. But these team races could be tight heading into tomorrow night. And the final five weights, which will get introduced. It's a one-day competition here at the 
Asian championships, unlike the European that we witnessed a couple of weeks ago. In Budapest, one day tournament for these wrestlers, not quite as many entries as the Continentals provided in Hungary. Fantastic tournament held inside the Budapest Arena. And Americans will be coming up in the African Championships. And to get back into the ranking series events, all leading to Belgrade, Serbia, and the coveted World Championships this year. More of a normal, full cylinder calendar year. And these ranking series events, they're just only going to pick up momentum the deeper we go into the year, especially the final ranking event in Tunisia, that's going to have a lot at stake. You could see a lot of countries send multiple star wrestlers to try to get their highest seat possible for the World Championships. Second period, low scoring bout here, 1-0. Trying to initiate enough and get the Equalizer is Kyrgyzstan's Makhmadov. Trying to get an opportunity to go parteer. We saw Kazakhstan miss out. And here comes the whistle, and we are tied at one. And now it will be Makhmadov. Slowly getting into position. Key, key moment here as we are just under two minutes to go. Makhmadov wanting. Here is Hepov to scoot up just a few inches. Makhmadov has it to his liking, and here we go. Tied at one. Stand up position. Has a strong grip. Boy, he has this tight. He's in a pretty good position to score. Can he get the thrust here in the turn? See the arm coming around the hip, kind of a seat belt position for Kazakhstan, trying to prevent any type of momentum being built up by Makhmadov. Stand-up position that has been now for about 15 seconds. This takes a toll, and did he get any type of exposure? No, he will get the two, though. So he was very patient, waited for his moment, and delivers the two-pointer in a three-to-one lead. Tell you what, that takes some strength to hold him up in, in midair like that for a good 15 to 20 seconds. And you can see the toll it took. Makhmadov slow to get back up to his feet. Parterre right now has been the difference. Here is Hepov unable to get any turn. While his counterpart, Makhmadov, was able to get the two. And that right, right now could settle the goal here at 77. Right on shot there by Yuris Hepal. Just shadowed away. It's going to be tough to find any crevices now. Tries to kink away at the armor here of the wrestler from Kyrgyzstan, Makhmadov, 10 seconds away from winning the gold. What a triumphant return this would be for him. Down to three, down to two. Kirk and Agzol Makhmadov has won the gold medal. Three to one, your final. And all the emotion comes out. Talked about that serious knee injury he had in 2019. Went over a year of rehabbing to get back 